Hey, what's up, y'all? Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to another Thadco Booze Review. Today, I'm going to be drinking... Oh, if I can reach it, I'm trying to look at myself in the camera. Ten Barrel Brewing Company's Pub Beer. It's a lager. And if you know me, just like it... Boom, ba da da Cheap fun. That is me to the T. Uh, my niece was grateful enough to go out with her mom and they went shopping bought me some stuff for my birthday this is one of them and they're looking forward to a review so thank you very much Graceland for this one uh, I just reviewed a toasted coconut and chocolate porter it was really good got my cracking and coke riding shotgun with me Get a little palate cleanse so we can try this. One of those pub beer, what I'm picturing in my head, if you'll see here, my table is my softball bag. I am missing playing softball. Seems to be shut down in California, but it makes sense because there's COVID. Which is how this channel started. I was bored as shit one day on quarantine. Decided, hey, I'm going to drink some bottom shelf booze for you guys. Since then, I've stepped it up because... I learned this. Drinking rock gut shit gave me heartburn for two months and plus. So what I'm picturing out of this pub beer that's cheap fun is it just being your run of the mill Budweiser type beer. Which can be fun when you're in college and you're at a pub. And chugging away. Look at this. It's looking like it. It's nice and golden. This looks like some shit off of a TV commercial. Hey. So, anyhow, you know, I was thinking I should start writing some of these different independent breweries. Being like, yo, I drank your shit online. I see you make other flavors. Send it to me. Let's give it a shot. Again, let me cleanse my palate with some Kraken. Love this stuff. I think Kraken is one of the finer rums I could buy. You know, when I say Kraken and Coke, I use actual Coke. None of that weak uh, Pepsi shit. Here we go. Just as I expected. Tastes kind of like a Bud, Coors side beer, which there's nothing wrong with that. A little hoppy, which is okay. I mean, kind of on this kick and not digging hops, but hey, what the hell? A little hops here and there can't hurt. And I ain't gonna bad mouth any beer that my little niece picked out for me. Well, unless it sucked. This is definitely good, man. This is like Sierra Nevada's beer for drinking. You know, it's it's a good beer. I'm trying to see here. My wife hates when I glance at the can like this, doing my old guy shit. So this is 25 ounces, 5% alcohol by volume. That's what I was looking for. Coming to you is Pub Beer. Ooh, pardon me. Pub Beer Lager from 10 Barrel Brewing Company. Pretty good stuff, man. It's a, if you like Budweiser, Coors, that kind of stuff, like, you know, not too sophisticated beers, just shit construction workers drink when they get off work. You'll like it, man. It's a good beer. Kill the can. Put that down out of the way. Sorry to go out of frame. So, you know, like I said, man, it tastes kind of like a Budweiser. It's when you roll into a place, you know, hey, give me what our domestic you got on tap. Boom, this is what you get in pub beer. You know, if you were to blind for me right now, I couldn't tell you if it was Bud or if it was 10 Barrels pub beer. <clears throat> but, you know, like I said, man, cheap fun. So that's me. My niece knows I'm cheap. I'm a cheap date. You take me out, I'm good to go. Uh, how you doing, Mrs. Dad? How you doing, huh? Anyways, it was a good beer. Can't really think of any jokes to tell you anything. 
I uh, had kind of an exhausting day shooting a double review because my day was a little rough. When I say a little, I waited two hours in 105 plus degree weather in a car for a tow truck. That sucked, but I had an amazing support system and great friends that came out to help and helped me and my family out, which I greatly appreciated. Once again, thank you to the Hyatt family and thank you to the Ankeny family. Love you guys. And I mean that. Um, so, anyways, as always, this is Thad of Thadco. If you can think of any products you'd like to see me review, let me know. Whether it's booze or some other shit, make sure it's affordable because I'm a cheap bastard. I'm a social worker. It's not like I'm rich. Um, you know, like I said, I got my softball bag here with me. I'll pull out the two hottest fucking bats I swing right now. This one right here. And this is a special back to me. It's a Louisville Genesis. It uh, sells and pro proceeds went to this organization which helps fund research on autism. That bat's amazingly hot. I got the Jeff Hall in there. I don't want to spill my beer or my drink. If I spill some rum and coke, I'm going to be heartbroken. Um, Louisville H1, amazing bat, man. If you play senior ball, love that bat. Swung in BP the other day. I sucked ass. It was all me, not the bat. That's one thing I think people don't take enough responsibility for is their action in a role. Their role in an action. Some shit, I don't know. I'm starting to get a little buzzed. Pub beer, cheap fun. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, it's Thadco, T H A D, space C O. And you can find me on YouTube that way. Of course, if you're watching this, you already found me. Tell a friend. Thank you. Bye. Hey, what's up, guys? Greetings and salutations. This is Thad with Thadco with some behind-the-scenes action. Had a little bit too much cracking in before and in between shooting. Double, uh, double review. Forgot to plug my shit. The Thadco shirts. Boom. Here we go. This is what they look like. They're made here in my local hometown of Redding, California. If you want one, hit me up. Cut you a great deal. I'm thinking 15, 20 bucks. I do have a family and friends discount. Personal message me. That's the tip. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Talk to you guys later. Bye.